For decades, lithium iron, nickel, and cadmium batteries have been the focus of energy storage technology. Lithium ion batteries are now the most common and often regarded as having the most potential. Because it is the lightest material and has the largest electrochemical potential, lithium ion has various advantages. It does, however, have significant drawbacks. It's vulnerable and risky. Lithium is becoming increasingly costly and there are also environmental consequences. Hard rock mining releases 15 tons of carbon dioxide for every tr of lithium recovered. When lithium is mined, the surrounding region is always polluted with hazardous substances. Water access is jeopardized in areas where destructive mining extraction is taking place, which is becoming increasingly difficult owing to increased demand. So far, the inability of such batteries to last has been a severe hurdle. However, some organizations are beginning to migrate toward a greener, safer, and less expensive alternatives such as sodium ion batteries. However, there is some good news. Scientists have created a new electrolyte for high-voltage sodium ion batteries, which will significantly increase their longevity. However, before going into the intricacies, some history of sodium ion batteries and the challenges of adopting them into the electric car business is in need. Sodium, an alkaline metal with an atomic weight of 23, is listed below lithium on the periodic table. Even though lithium and sodium have almost comparable physical and chemical characteristics, sodium is about 12,000 times more prevalent in nature than lithium. The basic working idea of sodium ion batteries is similar to that of lithium ion batteries. A cell has a positive cathode and a negative anode that are separated by a separator and separated from one another by an electrolyte. The majority of the electrolyte is made up of sodium salts dissolved in either a polyprotec or a protic solvent. Sodium ions flow from the cathode to the anode as the battery is charged. Because the anode is often made of a variety of hard carbon compounds, the returning ions simply return to the anode during the discharge process, where the cycle starts all over again. Considering that the quantity of sodium in the crust of the planet significantly surpasses the amount of lithium but more than 1,000 times, you might be wondering why we don't utilize sodium ion batteries instead of lithium ion to power our modern lifestyles. That is an excellent question. And it appears that the world's largest battery manufacturer, CATL of China, agrees with you, as they've just released a sodium ion battery that competes with existing lithium ion technology for energy density and lifespan, potentially revolutionizing the future of energy storage. The key disadvantages of sodium over lithium were its energy density and weight. Compared to lithium ion batteries, which have a capacity of well over 200 watt hours per kilogram, sodium ion batteries only have a capacity of roughly 150 watt hours per kilogram. This is the type of competitive disadvantage that our market based economy cannot withstand. Because sodium is three times heavier than lithium, even though it only accounts for around 5% of the overall battery weight, these batteries were significantly larger than their lithium based counterparts. Because sodium ions are physically bigger than lithium ions, they cannot readily pass through the layers of a graphite anode. CATL wants the first generation of their sodium ion battery in July 2021, with an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram and a 0 to 80% charge time of under 15 minutes. The electrode materials used were the key distinguishing component in this more contemporary approach, because Prussian white, a cathode material, is a completely reduced and sordiated version of Prussian blue with a high working capacity, high theoretical capacity, and low toxicity. It may be used during cell construction instead of a reactive sodium loaded anode, saving both time and money. Instead of the more usually utilized copper, CATL was able to employ aluminium foil as the current collector on the anode side. After this adjustment is made, each battery will be 8% cheaper and 10% lighter. The sodium salt properties also allow for the use of a less concentrated electrolyte solution, which saves money. CATO claims that they can produce their new sodium batteries using the same technology and procedures that they use to produce lithium ion batteries. As a result, no costly new setup is necessary. In addition to the previously mentioned benefits of CATO, it has been revealed that sodium ion batteries have significantly greater thermal sustainability than lithium ion batteries, resulting in higher safety ratings. 
so it's reasonable to assume that everyone at CATO was pretty pleased with themselves. The researchers are developing a second generation sodium ion battery with an energy density of more than 200 watt hours per kilogram, which would make it more potent than lithium ion phosphate technology and comparable to the performance of existing nickel based lithium cobalt batteries. Full manufacturing is planned to begin as soon as 2023. CATL aims to offer not just Tesla and other cars, but also low-cost stationary energy storage facilities for global power systems, contributing to the smooth adoption of renewable energy. The ever-increasing expense of lithium has made sodium-ion batteries more appealing than ever. Just keep a lookout for when they replace lithium-ion batteries as the preferred product. That's all there is to it for today. If you love the video, please like it and remember to subscribe to our channel for more wonderful videos.